so stupid. Don't try this at home. Hey guys, last day of the week for us. We've got events today. Um, last event session before Europe Strongest Man. Feeling good? Yes, feeling good. Just had some, right. You had some physio today. Yes. That went all right? Yeah, it went good, yeah. Good. So we're starting off with log press. Just a single set for myself, up to a top uh, set, so that's quite good. So everything today is just going to be one set of things, so yeah. just to, uh, we're not going to get stronger a week or now, so it's just to get a feel for it still. Right? So get confident yeah. for Europe's strongest man. September 4th, Leeds, be there or miss out. We're actually going to do a challenge today as well, seeing as it's the final uh, day of prep for Europe's strongest man. Um, someone sent us a, what, what was it, the gummy bear the world's spice. world strong spiciest gummy yeah, world's spiciest so because we're the spiciest brothers in the world someone sent us the world's strongest or spiciest gummy bears so that must might put me off gummy bears for life now doubt it and we're gonna have mixed some crickets in as well just for a wee saviour option to, for the starter saviour so option so our starter will be crickets our main course will be the spicy gummy bear so stay tuned and enjoy it Yeah, as we said, events today, so we're just starting off in the 90 kilo log um, to warm up. Um, and then as usual, going to the wooden one, uh, the Richard Looney's beast of a log, 140 kilos. And then we're just doing maybe a heavy single, maybe a heavy dump, uh, double, see where, see where we're at. Um, finish here. And then what have you got, Tom? We'll do some yoke. Shield carry, one set here, and then one set of yoke for 100 kilograms. One set of stones. That's it. That's events done. Home. And then it's our little sister Nikki's wedding tomorrow, so we're gonna have a Oh, his little sister. My big sister. <laughs> Sorry. I forget because I'm really old and Tom's really young. <sighs> Today, mate. My hamstring got sorted and I got a light all over body but it was a hamstring that they targeted today to keep it spicy. <laughs> so in the, the metal log we normally got to 130 kilos and then that's our warm up and the metal one done then we progress on to the wooden one which is 140 141 kilos at the moment and then we just add um so do 140 160 180 maybe a 190 probably just got to 200 today actually and just keep on progressing up to about 200 a little bit faster and then once we get to 200 maybe do like a 205 210 uh, and smaller increments just because that's when it gets a little bit heavy and Anything over 200 kilos on the log press is, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So, we'll see how it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. How does that work? It's uh, physics. All algorithms and maths and stuff. So. So guys, as you see now, we meant to do a 200 today, but just wasn't there, the first attempt was miles off. Might have rushed it, not being aggressive. Second set, better clean. Pressed it in front of me, then the third one was the closest one. So, I know if I do the third rep, I could do, uh, if I done the third rep, yeah. sorry, if I did the first rep, like the third rep, I would have, you know, cleaned it and pressed it and been all good, but it is what it is really, you know. I'm not, uh, I'm not too bothered about it all, so. Just uh, fatigued and stuff, I know when I'm on my game, I can hit it, so. It's all good, you know, onwards to the next event. Yeah, 200, not so good. It was there, but I talk about the log being one of the most technically um, advanced lifts, not only physically, but mentally as well. So when I got there, I thought well, that's nice and easy. And then I kind of switched off. I, uh, I got a bit dizzy and kind of dropped it, but I knew it was there. Um, so that's why I went up to the 210. 210 felt okay today. Um, balance isn't still 100% there, um, but I think, <sighs> I mean, I think both Tom and I are pretty fatigued this week. For me, hitting 210 just now, that's quite good. I'm quite happy with that. Maybe a little bit heavier if I wanted to, but I think 210 is kind of conservative just now. Yeah, when we're down at Leeds, uh, September 4th, you know, I think there's going to be more in the tank there. And it's going to be, it's going to be an awesome battle, you know, between everyone, Tom, Bobby, Hexie, Bush, uh, Novikov, you know, Whoever else is going to be there or deserve it, deserved of being there, you know, they're awesome athletes and I really can't wait to compete. Um, that's why we do this, you know, that's why we train every day, that's why we, you know, we compete is to compete in front of a big crowd. That's, that's why Giants Live for me is one of the best shows in the world and yeah, I'm just buzzing to be there and, and compete again with Big Tommy, the world's strongest man. So we're back in the warehouse, what are we up to in here, Tommy Boy? Yeah, it's a long time no seeing here, isn't it? Um, we are up to yoke and some stones. So yoke, we're gonna try hit 400 just for one run. And then stones, it'll be probably like 160 for three. No tacky, just one set. Um, we're not killing our bodies, there's no point. You can't literally get stronger or weaker now. We're both a bit fatigued. We push, we'll get injured again, and that's not what we want. So we're just gonna you know, go to a yoke with 400. Nice 160 stones. Even 140 stone, depends. Let's just see what happens and we'll take it from there. I want to get this done quick one run, so I'm just going to do 200 pickup that's empty yoke, put on 50, put on another 50, 300 pickup, and then just build pick up all the way to 400 and just do one run. Do here to there, then we get Luke's height down and he does the same one run back. So you're taking in turns, yeah? Yeah. Guys, that's the pickups done. Pit, last pickup was 350. Now we're going to do a 400 kg run here to there. Yoke finished. Got it. I think yesterday when I did those deadlifts, I was also cut me because. Um, yeah, that was a lot of lower back, so pain there, but I completed and that's the main thing. Just, uh, like you said, we're really fatigued, but it's, uh, it's how you perform on the days the best. We're just trying to take over, but yeah, that was sore. But 
The thing is I can get under a yoke which is good. But that was so guys that was so jeez. <laughs> All good? Easy, not easy, but really tough, but it's okay, done. Body, so we're now onto stones, but it's stones with a little bit of a twist. So this is gonna be our um, challenge. This is the pinnacle of today's training session. So let me explain it to you. We have a 40 kilo Atlas Endurance stone. We have a rain tin. The closest to the rain tin without destroying it wins. And the loser has to eat da -da -da, crickets from Africa or Australia. I don't know. No crickets were harmed in the making of this video. Right guys, the loser has to f eat three crickets. I fed these to geckos and the geckos like them, so hopefully humans like them too. Three of these. Stayed. I thought oh, it was pretty good. I thought it was gonna stay up. Oh. I've got the motion of the ocean. Just roll with your hips, that's what you gotta do. Roll with your hips. Make sure you follow through and never pull out when you're doing it because it's you know what I mean? Oh. I think you went out of bounds when you hit the ladder. The rules of the game are the stone isn't allowed to hit any um, items in the vicinity or if it hits the tin and knocks it over then it's uh -uh, game over so it's the best out of three let's see who's the best at stones Right guys, this is where the stone landed, so I shouldn't have went first, darn it. <laughs> Tom won the first round, that was absolutely... That was bad I feel I should just eat all the crickets after that, because that was disgusting. That was bad for both of us, jeez. It's probably the worst thing I've ever done in my life. That was going so good and then the stone played games with me. It landed like here. So that's where it landed. So we'll do the Landers center. Are you happy with this stone? I'm gonna put it there. Yeah. Aggression! Controlled aggression! How many steps? Simon, you count the steps. Why don't we use this? Two, two and a half, is it? Yep. One, two. <laughs> oh. I think you've lost, Luke. A tie. No, it's not. You lost that one. I've lost the challenge, guys. We're going to do one more just because it's quite fun. This is probably the funnest stone session I've ever had in my life. I really enjoy it. Um, add this into your programme because that's how Tom becomes the best in the world at stones. Right guys, so, as you guys know, we were going to do a forfeit for the crickets, but because me and Luke are losers, big L's, big losers, and uh, 
Gab's now a loser because he works with the Stokeman brothers. Yeah. We thought me and Luke will do it, plus Gab can do it as well. Uh, so we're all going to enjoy some home comforts of crickets. Be like ge geckos for a bit. Of. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Yeah. How is it? Yeah. It's crunchy. Tastes like grass. I've got the wings on it. Mm. Oh, yeah, gecko. They're nice, though. It's got a weird texture, you know? A bit too salty for me, to be fair. Job done. Guys, now we're gonna eat the world's hottest gummy bear. It's staring at me. It doesn't look that hot, but I'm not gonna try this. It's gonna be Luke because he lost, and Gab because he's now part of the Stoltman brothers, and Gab doesn't like spice either, so this is gonna be funny. Over to you, gentlemen. Which bit do you want? Uh, I'll take the smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> what a gump. <laughs> right, three, two, one, Cheers, go. Mate. Cheers. It's actually gone instant. Oh my god. It's actually instant. Oh no. It's actually instant. I don't even wait. Oh, it is spicy. So this is such a good crack. It's actually not meat for once. Why am I doing it? It's gonna be really nasty. I don't like it. I don't like it. I know it's ah. good. It's coming. <laughs> can't speak. I can't speak. I can't speak. Ah, it's hot. How do you feel, mate? Oh, my mouth feels so nice. It's been cool. Hey. <laughs> Jeez, that's only half as well. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. It's one of those hot, so stupid. Don't try this at home. It's actually that bad. <laughs> oh, there's whole milk! Holy You're loving this, mate. Uh, it feels good not to be on the wrong side of it for once. I mean, if Luke can't take it, then geez. It comes back when you breathe air through your mouth. Stop breathing. I'm so angry right now. I said the world's hottest. <sighs> <clears throat> oh. oh, my burps are spicy. Oh, Jesus, man. It's so stupid. If something says it's the world's hottest something, it's going to be really hot. I want to punch myself in the face. That's the, the chilli. Eh, there we, it said it was the world's spiciest gummy bear, but to be honest, I didn't really feel much. Um, it was like maybe a Madras level spice, so yeah, I feel fine. Um, probably get there a couple if I wanted to, but I wanted to give gobs in their hand, didn't handle it so well. So um, hopefully, you can handle a bit more spice later on in life. Anyway, hope you enjoyed our events session, final one before Europe's. It wasn't really an event session, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding.